This is Twit. Google announced its Chromebook Pixel 2, the highest-end version of its cloud-based Chromium OS laptop. Mashable Tech editor Pete Paschal is here to tell us about the new Pixel. What's going on, Pete? Hey, Mike. Uh, now, it's going well. I got one of the Pixels. Great. Right I, I knew I could count on you to be waving uh, the goods around. Uh, you always do that. Every time I have you on, you've got watches on your wrist or whatever we're talking about. So what's different in the new Chromebook Pixel? Uh, you know, it's very similar to the first one. It's got a spec bump. Um, you know, it's basically got the most current uh, processor, a Broadwell uh, Intel, Intel Core i5. Um, it's got the same resolution because the first one was already kind of a retina level uh, display, but it did beef up the color this time. Um, it has uh, 32 gigs of storage. And uh, it's got a few, it's about 3.3 pounds. So it's not like an ultra portable. It's not super heavy, but it, they didn't prioritize it being thin and light. It's very similar to the design of the last one. So it's all very similar. Everything just gets get uh, a bump up. Uh, the battery life gets an improvement to 12 hours. So that's, that's actually a significant improvement because uh, it's been a couple of generations of chips uh, since then. And, uh, you know, it's got a 720p webcam. Um, but one of the biggest things that it's notable for are these right here, this um, uh, USB type C port, which, uh, of course, is also the only port you'll find on the MacBook, the new MacBook, which uh, Apple unveiled a couple days ago. These the Chromebook, the new Chromebook and the, uh, the MacBook are two of the first uh, PCs two of the first laptops to have the new connector. And this is supposedly, uh, once again, the, the one connector to rule them all in our uh, brave future, which does uh, data, <laughs> obviously, transfers. It'll also extend to an external display. <clears throat> and it also provides power. It does all those things. Now, the Chromebook is notable for actually having two, one on this side, one on the other. So you can pretty easily charge and extend to another display at the same time. Uh, also, those aren't the only ports. That's another way it's different from the MacBook. You actually have two regular size USB as well. And of course, you probably saw the SD card over there. Sorry, SD and uh, headphone jack right there. No, wait, the headphone jack's over here. It's somewhere. There it is. Um, so, you know, it's, it's got a lot more ports, but the USB-C is the really big uh, deal because uh, not only does it provide power, it can provide, provide power pretty quickly, it charges fast, um, it uh, gets something like two hours of use uh, from a 15-minute charge, I believe that's the spec. So um, it's, a, it's a modern laptop. It's definitely trying to point the way for um, new uh, all laptops to come, particularly through the use of that port. So this week we saw two really flashy debuts of computers with this new connector. I'm curious, when, when do you think that this might become, like how long will it take for it to come to an industry standard? Pretty quick. I think by this time next year, you're going to be seeing it on pretty much everything. I mean, the chips support it, so that's not hard. Um, it's just a matter of, of putting it in. And I can't really, you know, there's not really a good reason not to. The only you you may still see some independent charging ports from the USB-C. Some models may do that simply because I believe um, the Type C wattage isn't quite as high as you might be able to get on some um, some other models if you just went with something else. But in terms of connectivity, I don't think there's much reason not to include it. Uh, it, it does pretty much everything. It lets you reduce the size of these things, and as once more and more um, drives connectors start supporting it. Uh, I think it's just going to take over because it just makes a great deal of sense. And one of the best things about it, and I've got the other side here, the 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 male side. I mean, it's reversible. So just like Apple's Lightning, you'll the the frustration of putting a USB connector in wrong will soon be a thing of the past, and that'll be the most practical benefit. I think. Uh, most people will, will get out of it. Now, the original Pixel was slammed by critics for having the unfortunate combination of limited. Um, usage in terms of the fact, you know, because it's a cloud-based system was considered uh, something far less than a real laptop and a very high price. I believe it was $1,299 or something like that. Uh, and so this price has come down under $1,000 to $999 for the starting point. Is that the sweet spot in your opinion? Do you think that, that the fact that it's a three-digit price for, for the starting model, uh, will that turn heads and make people really consider this in a way that they didn't for the first one? I don't think that many people um, on the price alone. I think once you price yourself above five, six hundred dollars, you're completely losing the entry level crowd. 
Um, and a lot of people are, are just going to be like, well, it's still just Chrome. Here's the thing. It, for certain, um, and this is why I like the Pixel, actually. I gave it a good review, uh, though I understand the criticisms. And it's really looking at it from a different point of view. Like, um, I, I tested this thing. You know, I kind of dog food it. I basically decided, OK, I'm going to do my job on this uh, machine and see how much of it I can do. And shockingly, uh, I was prepared to like slam it for not being able to do much. 95% of what I do is in the cloud. You know, now most of my day, again, 95% of my day, I'm connected. So this thing actually performed extremely well. And uh, from because of its native, um, its native uh, connection to Chrome and Google services, um, it gives you the best possible um, performance through, for that 95%, because most of my job is in the web. Uh, and it, it's, it's with a Core i5 processor backed by a, a, a OS that is backed by Chrome. I mean, it's, it's the best browser experience I've ever had. And since I spend so much time in the browser, um, that's, that's really good. Now, that said, there are a few apps and experiences it can't do. For example, if you're in the Apple environment and you're using their apps, so whether it's FaceTime, uh, reminders, etc. I mean, you're kind of siloed there, and there aren't a lot of uh, there are workarounds and substitutes, but you can't really get those per se um, conveniently anyway. So you know, there's there's a few thing compromises you have to make, but um, for what I think a lot of people do most of the day, it's very very good. Uh, one thing that you know strikes me particularly interesting about this new machine is that the Pixel has both, you know, as you mentioned, the USB Type C connector as well as two USB ports. And I'm curious, um, do you think that that will help with its adoption? And was that a limiting factor of the new MacBook? Yeah, well, that's the great thing about this one is you don't need that dongle on top of things for for a great deal of stuff. Um, although they, you know, there's certainly a lot of dongles that Google has, and you know, I don't think it's I'm not sure what it's charging for them, but you. You will need at least one if you're extending to a display because uh, you'll need to go to either a uh, an HDMI or DisplayPort uh, a connector. Um, but I think that's that's a plus because I was able to take the Pixel and basically put it right into my um, my workstation, which has a, a USB hub and uh, uh, an external display. And uh, with virtually, no, I mean, I did have to have the one dongle to HDMI, but that was it. Um, so I think that's going to help. I also think there's a by having two, just have just by having two, it actually has quite an edge over the MacBook uh, because then when you're like I say doing the power and display at the same time uh, without any dongle um, or at least without any adapter uh, is is a plus. Um, it also helps that you know often uh, you find that your power port is on the inconvenient side of your laptop in some situations. And uh, in this case, it's always on the convenient side. So that's nice. Pete, I've noticed uh, when I use the first Pixel that, uh, you know, the same phenomenon you experience with this one and the same phenomenon that most users experience, which is that, wait a minute, I am mostly in the cloud already. This is not a big limitation. And I think that it has to be said that the, uh, the main thing that the Pixel can't do is run malware. And that is a killer feature, in my opinion. And so I think uh, I think if people are skeptical and wondering whether they can really do their work, uh, you should give it a try. At least try a Chromebook, uh, you know, a cheaper one. They're, they're practically giving them away on Amazon.com. But uh, And if you realize you can do your work, then move up to the Pixel. It's a really awesome uh uh, computer. The first one was great. This one sounds even better. So uh, I'm really excited about this, and I I may you know I may actually get one. Although the new MacBook looks pretty pretty awesome as well. 